Now, it's hard to believe, but I began my career in 1955, and I had a band in Baltimore called the J-Rockers, and I listened to this music, as I told you, called Rhythm and Blues. My parents had a piano, so I'd buy the early Rhythm and Blues records, I'd take them home, and I'd dissect the rhythm, meaning the bass, and I found out that it all came from the boogie woogie pie. If it was a fast song or a slow song, the fundamental part of the music was the boogie woogie. This is our intellectual part of the show, but this is the way rock and roll came to be. First, I'm gonna play the straight boogie. What happened with the music was that particular riff of the three chord boogie was dissected by a few people, including myself, early on, before Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> Not before Fats Domino, though, my dear friend. But we'll get to that in a minute. What we did was come up with ways to cut the boogie woogie pie with different riffs that would support a song. That particular riff, many songs were made, like... Ooh-wee, ooh baby, ooh ooh baby, ooh baby, won't you let me take you on a sea cruise? Okay, many songs were made from the Boogie Woogie riff, but the early part of experimenting with that dissection of the Boogie Woogie gave us different riffs like this. Instead of going, I figured out, hey, wonder what it would sound like if we did it backwards. <laughs> that sounded pretty good. And then I wonder what it would sound like if we did it half up and half back. quarters of the riffs to popular music in America already. But there's some more variations. When we made the music with Bill Haley, believe it or not, Bill Haley was a country and western singer who was actually called the Yodeling Cowboy. And he worked in a radio station in Lebanon, PA, WLBR. Anybody familiar with that station? He actually worked there as a music director my point is, is that he played what we call, I guess, uh, rockabilly music because it had the country flavor and it had the rhythm and blues flavor and it had these three chords. So one of the first records that I heard before I was with Bill Haley was a thing called Rock the Joint. And I come to find out years and years later after I was with the Comets that it wasn't Bill Haley at all. It was a black artist by the name of Jackie Brinston who made that record. But here are the elements of the country influence and the blues and early music that later became known as rock and roll. When this record was made in 1951, it was called Rockabilly. We're gonna tear down the mailbox, rip up the floor, knock down the windows and smash down the door. We're gonna rock, rock the joint. We're gonna rock. influenced several years ago to become pop music. Everybody 
everybody's going out and having fun. As for me, I'm hanging around the library and having none. I don't know why she ever set me free. and 56 and 57, the riffs that we came up with on the piano were used by other artists to sell millions of records. Remember I said half up and half back? Jerry Lee Lewis copied exactly that formula to come up with three million in sales on a song called A Whole Lot of Shaking Going On. so great and it's all because of the donations that people made and let us and especially a friend of mine my name is Bill Ami and the Claire brothers thank them with your applause for this piano and this sound system right here in the middle. and old Roy Claire probably have a heart attack if he knew Joey was down here boogie woogie on his piano <laughs> 